It was an interesting trip and it's wonderful to be able to share the sights and sounds of Dakar, one of my truly favorite cities in the world. Whenever I'm in Dakar, I try to find time to visit Gore Island. Quite deservedly, Gore is a major tourist attraction. An excursion to Gore Island is a unique experience. Since it is an island several kilometers off the coast, it can only be reached by boat. There are no cars and no bicycles on Gore Island, so it is a paradise for anyone who loves to roam around on foot like I do. When I first came to Dakar as a young student many, many years ago, one of my best friends was an extremely kind Senegalese youth of fuller origin named Barry. Barry's father was the mayor of Gore Island and we often spent time here in Gore with his family in those wonderful days of youthful exuberance and innocence. On many street corners, one gets to interact with the vendors of small art objects. On my most recent visit to Gore, one of my new discoveries was Le Musée de la Femme, a small museum dedicated to the lifestyle and background history of Senegalese women. Gore Island's Musée de la Femme honors the memory of Madame Henriette Batidi, a pioneer militant for women's rights in Senegal who was a foremost cultural activist and radio broadcaster in her time. Mm -hmm. 
One of the most poignant things about Gore Island is its tragic association with the slave trade. The main building, which was the final point from which so many million Africans were shipped off to the Americas in the course of past centuries, has now been transformed into a museum. This is Sola Balogo reporting for NTA 2 Channel 5 from Gore Island, Senegal. Slavery lasted in this island from 1536 to 1848. And during that time, about 15 to 20 million slaves coming from all west parts of Africa, uh, they left this island to America. And six million of them died from bad treatment. This is the famous, or rather the infamous door through which the slaves were shipped off to the Americas. Gore Island is a poignant reminder of the many injustices that the black race has suffered in the course of time at the hands of some of those who falsely claim to be the sole custodians of world civilization and who are now trying to colonize us afresh through the World Bank and the IMF. As the hotel where I was staying in Dakar, near the airport at Ngor, was only a stone's throw away from a famous tourist attraction market on the beach, I eventually ended up going over to admire the artifacts and trinkets on sale. Say hello to Nigeria. Yeah. If you go in Nigeria, yes. you say I get one from Senegalese in Almadi. Okay. Yes. My name is Sheriff. Sheriff. Yes. I happen to be an admirer of African textiles. My interest also extends to the talented artisans and craftspeople all over Africa who create these wonderful fabrics. In Dakar, many of the weavers come from neighboring Guinea-Bissau. It's always delightful to sit with them for a while and watch them work. Sunday 
sunjata mangorilo hai vara sunjata mangorilo sunjata mangorilo hai vara sandaga market in the center of dakar one of the truly great african markets nearly everything one can think of is available in sandaga from plastic shoes and bags freshly imported from china to traditional medicines and of course fabrics of all kinds how much is this one i make for you the last price for you is 75 i can't afford that how much last price 75 this good my brother i do less price for you because you are my brother but i pay you 5 oh, dollars no right now you can pay me six i refuse and i tell you my last price is 75 my brother okay i like it i'm going to pay you 65 my brother you know how much I I I win with V7? How much you get? Five hundred. How You believe me? No, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying, my brother. 